hi it's Stephanie thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel I want to share the behind the scenes of my YouTube studio with you it's really my basement <laughs> and I just want to share with you some of the thoughts and ideas that I put into this because I had a lot of fun creating what you see behind me and how it works and it was just a fun thing to do and I just want to share because maybe if you want to make a YouTube video it'll help you or you know maybe you're just curious <laughs> So yes, I'm in my basement and this is a room that used to be a garage in my house many, many years ago when my kids were little and we just were too many people for this house so we closed in the hole downstairs and this room was just an odd shaped, really long room and oh, it started out as my bedroom and then it was an uh, office and forever and ever it had right where my little setup is, there was a day bed there and that's where guests would stay or the kids would stay or my granddaughters would stay. This was just a catch-all room. It has a big closet. It's just a big room. And um, my daughter had called and wanted the day bed for her daughter. It used to be hers in her room, so now it's her daughter's. And my granddaughter just loves it. She just was getting out of her crib and ready for her big girl bed. And my daughter painted it and made it all brand new for her. And I was left with an empty space. And I thought, hmm, what am I going to put there? Another day bed, a couch, I don't know. And I had purchased this love seat actually for my photography studio. I have a chaise lounge that's the same fabric. And when I saw this, it was in a thrift store. I think it was like 50 bucks and I had to have it. So it was in my studio and I thought, ah, I'm going to bring that home. It's going to be my YouTube couch. It's a cool little couch. It's like brand new. Like nobody even sat on it. It just looks like brand new. And so I started with that. And one of the things that I was looking for in my background was, what did I want to do? I started looking at other YouTube channels, people who had like a million followers or multi-million followers. What did I like about their background? And I just sort of dissected it. And I noticed that m the prettier ones, the more popular ones had a pro camera, which I already had. You know, I'm a photographer, I already had a camera. And so I figured out that they had the blur and that means that the settings on the camera cause the background to be blurry while I'm in focus. And the really trick to that is that I can't be at the same exact distance to my background. I need to be forward from it. So if I'm forward from my background, I can make it blurry with a setting on my camera. And um, how far away you need to be is really just, it's subjective. Um, four or five feet is good. What I have there is probably, you know, three, five, three to five feet. I don't know. I'm not good at measuring, but um, a little bit farther, you get more blur. And so if you're really close to a wall and your pictures are right there, it's all in focus. Now what's behind me is blurry. So what's cool about that is it doesn't have to be perfect. It could be ragtag and it would still look pretty. So I started thinking, what did I want? I wanted some color. So the pillows are on purpose. Those are the, my pink ones. I also have orange ones and I have some blue ones. And if I want to change it, I could get some other colors. Um, the orange and the pink ones almost look the same in camera. So I don't really change those very much. Um, the blue one was a whole lot of blue, so I don't use that one very much, but that doesn't mean I won't. So it's a quick way to quick change. The other quick change is the flowers. I can change those out for something different. And I found this, I had this little uh, end table in my shed. It was just kind of a really just falling apart little thing. And then I have a little coffee table that was also just in my shed and I painted them both blue. I just spray painted them. And so I purchased these curtains on Amazon for very little and boom, I had my, I had my background and I just love it. It's just perfect for me. And so what you're seeing is just a small little space in this huge, huge room. And this room is like a catch-all room. You know, it's like, I think of something, I don't know where to put that. Oh, I'll just set it in here, set it in here, set it in here. And pretty soon it's like totally, totally filled with stuff. So what happens is this room just becomes a magnet for clutter. It's also got a big storage closet where I do store a whole bunch of stuff and it just, it could get really cluttery. So it got so, it got very, very cluttery and this morning I cleaned it up. So I thought this is a perfect time to show behind the scenes when it's actually not full of crap. And so today I'm gonna to show you what this room looks like. But I have to say, if it is cluttery, you can't tell because what's right beyond that space, you can't see it. 
and what's right beyond that space you can't see it so I could be sitting with clutter all around me and you wouldn't know so if you have this just a little space just to make perfect for your little oasis that's what this is um, I'm gonna take you on a behind the scenes kind of draw to it but I have to say uh, I set up all my settings and it was not easy to come up with the settings it was something that took a lot of uh, trial and error so don't feel like you get it right off the bat and even if I give you my settings does that mean it'll work for you no not necessarily it's all going to depend on the lighting in your room the distance from your face to your background all of these things are going to change your setup what kind of camera are you using if you're using an iPhone it's a little harder to get a blur but you still can but it's just a little harder to find that little narrow focus area because you're just going to see what the iPhone wants you to see which I'll show you in a minute what what I would look like right here if I was using my iPhone and um, the other thing was the lighting and I'm gonna say the white balance was the hardest thing to figure out and I ended up on YouTube I, I watched three four five videos on how to set a custom white balance and I did set a custom white balance but I can't even tell you how I did that I have no idea I'm just like don't touch it I got it but I recommend that if you want to get that just that perfect balance of light to do the custom white balance uh, even with that if all my light bulbs didn't match the custom white balance wouldn't work it just wouldn't work and I couldn't figure it out for the longest time what ended up happening was I purchased these two lights that came as a set and they came with light bulbs and then I had different light bulbs in my background lights and it was it was messing it up so I finally just had this epiphany that all my light bulbs needed to match I ordered two more light bulbs put them in there and it was like magic so whatever lights you have behind you and in front of you should be the same doesn't really matter what they are as long as they're the same because you can adjust that in the camera I don't want to get too technical because I don't really know technicalities all that much one of the things that happened is I loaned my camera to my son it used to be his camera so I now have two of these so I loaned him this one thinking I would keep the one that was in my bag and that was a mistake because you know what I had all these settings perfect and then I I'm like oh no <gasps> I have to figure it out all over again and I hated that but it was kind of cool because it reminded me to show it to you and basically it's it's something I'm just gonna walk behind the camera and show you the settings that I have and what I came up with and what I do is I just sort of look at previous videos and just kind of think am I too light right now am I too washed out Is my background too washed out is my background too dark am I too dark and so I kind of want them all to be the same and man when I first started doing these videos they weren't the same I just was experimenting and it just was like I'm really dark I'm really yellow I'm really blue and so I feel like this is the setting I like but it's a personal taste thing as a photographer when I'm developing my pictures and doing my little edits it's my taste it's what I like and we're all different so it's okay if you have a desire for that all white look or you know just certain things it's totally the whole deal is to be yourself and do what you like and this is what I like and actually my pictures are highly saturated with lots of color too I just love color I love looking at those all white backgrounds and it just it, it appeals to me for someone else but for me I just I like the pop of color lots of color and uh, so I'm wearing black I may as well have some color behind me so anyways I um, I'm gonna walk you through and show you the behind the scenes and I hope you enjoy it and um, I actually love helping people figure this out I went to my girlfriend's house and she wants to start a YouTube channel so hopefully she will and I'll be able to share that with you and we set up sort of her YouTube studio in her living room which is a room that she doesn't actually use a whole lot it's super pretty all her favorite furniture all her decorations so I set her up with a setup with a tripod a couple of lights from the hardware store and her iPhone and it's beautiful I mean her videos are gorgeous she just needs to post them and then I'll tell you <laughs> what her channel is but in the meantime hit me up with a comment if you want me to help you maybe we could FaceTime and I could just sort of give you some tips and share with you how I did this and maybe give you some ideas on what you could do and it doesn't matter what you're shooting with and it doesn't matter it can all be figured out it can all be figured out it's just all about the angle and choosing the right background for you and just kind of getting the distance and the ratio um, 
I am actually looking up at my camera and I like that it's kind of looking down on me because it hides the chins and it just is very flattering. So I would definitely say a tripod and have your camera up at an angle to you and that will help a lot. And it also gives you a nice background. So if I was level, it would be harder for you to see my pretty little background that I made. All right, so let's take a look behind the scenes, shall we? Okay, so now I'm on my iPhone and this is what it would look like if I was filming with this camera and it's not as pretty, see? This is a whole, a whole different thing. So that's why I love using my camera that's you know, a little bit more that I can do with it. I have a, a lot more freedom to change things and kind of play with the art of it. And honestly, as a photographer, that was the most exciting part to me was just creating this picture that becomes a video and so setting up my little background was so fun i hope you enjoy setting yours up and if you have any questions or if i can help you i would love to i just love sharing this information and um so let me kind of take you on a little tour i'm going to turn my phone around i'm going to start with this direction because this is where i sit and this is my weight bench <laughs> i haven't been doing much in the weight department but i have a few little workout things that I can do at home and I keep having good intentions and I've used it before but it's a handy place to sit. This is just a little folding table that I brought out one day when I really just needed some place to set some things but I don't always have it there. I can put it away and the bench can go against the wall. It's just something that I had sitting there and honestly I don't like having a chair behind me uh, in the way so it's just uh, it's so easy. It makes me sit up straight. So there's my little vignette I want to call it, my little love seat and it doesn't look as special now, does it, without the blur? It's very well lit though. So there's a couple of lights up above and that gives a little bit of down light. I actually have one pointing on the flowers and the other one's just pointing on the curtains. It just gives it a little more dimension. And over here is just a messy corner that I don't want anybody to see. It's my ironing area. They open this door and my iron is there, my sewing room, just a, you know, that's a wreath that I use in the spring on my door and no place to put it. That's my tea cabinet. And I just have a fetish for teacups. Maybe I should do a video on teacups. And this is my crafting table. It, it, the sides come up and it gets really big. And so I can do all kinds of crafts on it and sewing, especially if it's a big project. So that's just sitting out of the way. That's my slider, it goes out to a porch. This is one of my background lights. I got this at the hardware store. It comes with the fixture already on it, and it's just a simple cord. And then I purchased the light bulbs from the same company as my two light stands over here. So this is my camera, and it is set up on a tripod. And that is so key. And where it's positioned, can you see that it's at an angle? This is so key. Now I'm, see I'm photobombing myself. It's pointing down. So if this was pointing straight, so I would have it way lower and it would be pointing straight at me, it wouldn't be as flattering. I like an angle that's looking down. So you want your camera looking down. And so if I'm not looking up at the camera, then it's not right for me. Another thing that's really important is this microphone. I got this from a recommendation from another, um, it's hard to see, this light is so bright. Let's see if I turn it. Anyways, this microphone I got from another YouTube video channel had recommended it and I bought it. It works great and I accidentally have not used the microphone a couple times and whoa, what a difference. You know, I had to get that plugged right back in and refilm because without that, it's just not as good. Now these two lights are really inexpensive. I got them on Amazon. It comes together. They're both, you have the stand, the, the whole soft box, this little thing that comes off, basically, you see how you peel it off and inside is this bulb and the bulbs came with it and I think it was like a hundred something dollars and I got all of this, two of these stands, two of these boxes, two of the light bulbs. It's to me, it was a really good deal and you can, you know, you can adjust how, how they go. You can point them up or down right here and so I like them high and then pointing down. Everything's high and then pointing down. Not too down, because you don't want shadows coming down on your face, but um, I don't want them straight in my face either. So there's that, here's another one. And they, um, they're they great. So I definitely have my light on, but it, that is so overshadowed by the lights in here. So there's lights on me, 
So that's the intermediary light where I'm going to be sitting. And then those two lights are lighting just that background vignette. Now let's talk about this camera. All right, I'm going to turn it on. So I am using a, a Canon 70D. Let me show you so you can see it. So it's EOS. Shoot, this light is so bright. Whoopsie. All right, let me just show you. It's a Canon EOS 70D. I love this camera, just love it. Uh, it's not as fancy as my husband's got, he's got to have a more of a pro camera, but I love this camera because if I go full frame with my husband's camera, it is so heavy. Mine is not heavy, but it still has a lot of great features. And I can't go into all the features of this camera. It's on video settings, so you can see that that's what I'm seeing. So I don't know, this is just not picking it up good, but you can see I'm deciding what my camera is seeing by zooming in on my with my lens and I'm also going to put down my lens because it's a really good one and it wasn't very much so there it is now let's uh let's go to a regular so these are my settings I don't know if that helps you I do have a custom white balance once once more you probably want to YouTube that I'm not an expert at it I just followed the directions of three or four of those guys and with a piece of white paper I figured it out but I can't tell you what I did. I don't know, but these are my settings. Now this, this one in the, on, on the left, that's my shutter speed. Doesn't really matter because I'm videoing. The ISO does matter because that's how much light is coming in. And when I set my camera back up, I had to play with that number a lot to get it back where I had it. And I just basically, I started at 1500 and it was, my face was really white compared to what I'm used to. And then I went down to 1250, down to a thousand and I'm happy with that. But if I look at my videos and they seem pretty washed out, I'll go down even lower. The higher this number, the more light is coming in, the lighter and more washed out the, the, the video is going to be. So that being said, that's a pretty good number for me. I thought it was 1250, but I think it might be a thousand. So we'll stick with that. F32. Do you see that number in the middle? F32. Now you see the big M on the left? That means I'm in manual. And that means I can set all these settings myself. You have to be a manual to set all these settings yourself, not auto. So in manual, I can set all three. And F3, two is the F stop. And the F stop is where I'm getting the blur. And I could go lower. This lens will go all the way to 2.8. But the problem with that is if I get a little bit out of frame, I could be blurry and I would be frustrated to get back in my editing mode and find out my whole video is blurry. So I stick with the F32 or F35 because I still get a lot of blur back there, but I'm in pretty good focus. And what I do is when I sit down, I lean in towards the camera. I can hear it focusing. I turn this little window so I can see, I can see there, I can see myself and I watch it focus. And when it's focused, I sit back down. Now my husband and my son are both trying to convince me to stick with a, a steady focus and take off the auto. So this whole idea of focusing might actually be a moot point if I go with their idea of just finding the focus and leaving it there. That's another way to go. Um, those are pretty much all the settings I can tell you. I think the most important one that was, oops, I just changed it to F28. I didn't mean to. So let me get it back where it was. F35. This dial right here. Oopsie. There. Well, three two is good. Um, three five is probably better. So that's that, and then there's the. So that's that. Um, if you have any questions about that, let me know. But that's pretty much the settings that I'm using. So there you have it. Oh, see, there's my pillows for my pillow chairs that I'm going to be making soon. If you've been waiting for that, I'm going to we. Are going to be taking a trip in a couple weeks and I'm going to have those pillow chairs done by then so they're ready to go and I'm ready to do them. So there you have it. I have two lights here, two lights there, and my little vignette that I set up from the thrift store. Now I'm going to tell you if you could see it up close it's not as lovely as it is blurry. I mean I even scratched it so it's got a little scrape and I hate it when you can see my heater and my messy thing so I cropped that out these are just sitting here but I like that they bring a little color in there just a little extra and so these are the little things these pillows I change out it's funny because I have some bright orange and these are more pink and the orange and pink look very similar almost the same I have some blue which I don't use as much it's a little too blue 
pink is my favorite and it's framing me so it's kind of what looks good on you okay so there it is the real truth behind the scenes now you have no curiosity to see what i'm looking at around me except usually there's a lot of clutter i'm not doing that anymore by the way i'm gonna keep this clean <laughs> i've been watching decluttering videos and they're very inspiring um i didn't do a decluttering video on this room because it was too embarrassing how bad it was like hoarder style so it's all clean now and i'm keeping it that way and why does one person need so much stuff it's just awful <sighs> so anyways i'm keeping it clean i hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes of my youtube studio which is really my basement and i hope you um, were inspired and maybe want to try your own little changes in your setup and if i can help in any way let me know in the meantime thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye now <laughs>